The aerospace challenge for me, it's, it's, it's the future of aerospace, I think, in terms of unmanned air vehicles. Um, obviously, there's, there's a lot of interest in them from Google, the military, it's a global thing. So it's an opportunity for, for students in particular, for industry to see students and, and maybe to see some interesting technological development. The buzz that you get from flying something which is worth a lot of money and something which you have worked on personally is unexplainable and uh, that is uh, my, my long term goal is to go into a piloting position into UAVs as well as being on the design team and giving design inputs. Of course I'd like to have a career in aviation. Uh, a lot of students on our team are aerospace and mechanical engineers and if there's one thing we have in common it's because we all love aeroplanes. So I think the aerospace challenge entices people in, into the industry because you get to really look at all aspects of the design. So this is the design of the aircraft, the systems, the hardware, communications, electronics, uh, every aspect of, of it. And then after you've designed it you get to actually make it and watch it fly so you really get to see the results. The Aerospace Challenge is important to our team because of the job opportunities that it can lead to. We can meet employers and also it allows us to build on our uh, knowledge throughout the year that we've learned at university. The, um, the Aerospace Challenge today has been about producing a, an unmanned air vehicle to, uh, that's going to produce, uh, deliver humanitarian aid to a target. So there's the concept of a, a lift delivery, some sort of payload delivery system and uh, target acquisition and, and identification to make sure it's going to the right place. I think there are a number of strands of benefit for the individuals, the participants in the, in the competition, not least working in a team. They've got to understand what their roles are. Uh, they are all engineers, but actually there are those broader engineering leadership skills, uh, team participation skills uh, and integration skills uh, that it brings and I think that's the great thing to see. So each team is marked on the design process, the business case, uh, the manufacturing of the aircraft itself and how well it performs in the mission. So, so this is things uh, like following waypoints accurately, uh, performing an accurate payload drop in which the payload survives the impact and performing uh, target recognition. We designed our craft to be able to hover because we wanted to deliver the payload intact. The background to the competition is a humanitarian aid situation. So we wanted to make sure that our food supplies and water supplies and medical supplies would arrive with minimal damage. Taking into consideration the scoring criteria, we designed our aircraft to be a fixed wing model instead of going for a quadcopter because of the maximum takeoff weight to lift ratio and also the speed we can think we could do, complete the course faster and under the time limit. I particularly want to be involved with uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, so that is my long-term career goal. Uh, uh, that is the industry I'd like to go into. The skills that I've gained, is, uh, they're immense, as in they're incomparable with other projects that, uh, that are happening. Team working, communication skills, and how that's benefited my development as an engineer is, has been very valuable for me. The Aerospace Challenge is all about young engineers being set a difficult challenge, stretching themselves to achieve things that seem very hard to actually deliver, and then having terrific enthusiasm to take part and being delighted when they manage to get here, have their plane flying, and actually deliver what we set them as a challenge.